What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Atalano. I'm back with another video. So for today's video, Bareface Jamie is back and better than ever. As you can see, I don't care. Today, I want to do a really uh, personal video that um, I've been thinking about lately and I wanted to share with you all. Um, I believe that um, inspirational videos are like really important to have. And I feel like, you know, I want to inspire you all and kind of like spill a little like you know, share a little wisdom that I've gained from my life experiences, even though I'm still a youngin', I'm still learning, I'm still growing, but I feel like, you know, that's life, and I feel like I should share some of what I've learned, and that's um, the thought of embracing ambiguity. I intern at a nonprofit that primarily works with LGBTQ business enterprises and promotes for economic growth and social change for LGBTQ people. I'm here for our community. I want to work with our community. I want to help our community grow. This person is um, a person I look up to. I I see as a mentor, I see as an inspiration myself. And so I coined this term from them because I believe that what they said about embracing ambiguity was so powerful and so significant. Um, and it made a mark in my life and I wanna make a mark in y'all's hearts as well. So, so what is ambiguity, right? Ambiguity is vagueness. Ambiguity is open. Ambiguity is not knowing. Um, and if you Google the definition, that's literally what I got from that. And you're embracing that. You're embracing that openness, that vagueness about life. Um, and I believe that that's how people can truly live. Cause you know, like a lot of the saying goes, you know, a lot of people are alive, but they're not living. And that's because I feel like they're not embracing ambiguity, not embracing the endless opportunities that life offers for everybody so yes sisters embrace the ambiguity embrace it hard you know please 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 don't limit yourself please don't limit yourself the opportunities are endless and when i mean that i really do mean that you won't know your future until it happens and so that's what embracing ambiguity is about i feel like a really good way to think about this is like you know in the past when we think about careers you know a lot of us are pressured into kind of getting a job or kind of like knowing what our life is right now, especially us who are like young. This generation is like pressured into like knowing what they want to be and like having their career or their life like all planned out. You should already like know what you're gonna do. You should already have like a family by like 26, 25. Like that's so unrealistic. Like if you think about it, like there's so many successful people out there that have been, you know, that have been working on their career, on themselves, that have been growing, it's taken them years. Sometimes till they're like 30, 40, even their 50s. And that's okay, because again, life is a journey and life is your journey, your own individual journey. And I feel like what makes, you know, living easier or at least, you know, better or happier is that you're embracing the endless limits that your life can possibly be. And you're not limiting yourself to a box or a closed space. And you shouldn't, as you shouldn't, you know? Of course it's okay and I, obviously encourage you know having a plan or having ambition for a type of project or a type of like career you want to do yes but i also believe that it's also okay to kind of explore and you know set yourself out there to challenge yourself to things that you normally wouldn't want to do or normally wouldn't even think of doing and i feel like that's what makes living worth it because you're taking a risk um, of doing something that you normally wouldn't have felt comfortable doing. And that's what embracing ambiguity is all about. You know, when we look at the history, when we look at how our parents and how our grandparents used to live, they always lived in a kind of like straight, narrow mindset. Like you had one job and you live that job and you live that life and you carry out, you know, the rest of your life living that one job. And that to me just sounds so scary. Like I honestly, that to me is like pushing the ambiguity away, trying to like, you know, trying to be safe. And again, like embracing ambiguity is all about not being safe. It's all about taking yourself out of your comfort zone and, you know, taking the risk to accept that there are other opportunities out there for you and that you should be open to the endless, endless open doors that can be open for you, you know? You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, close your door to other different types of opportunities out there. Um, so yeah, when we think about kind of how our parents and grandparents lived, they obviously put that way of thinking like onto us and they would pressure us to live in that way. And you know, our generation is nothing like that. Our generation is more creative. Our generation is more open and more fluid in thinking and more critical in our thinking as well. And that's what I love about our generation because we use this way of thinking to kind of like create new innovative things in our lives and we get to like reach new heights, new limits. You know, why I want to reference from is Michelle Obama, right? You you want to, you know, set you want to set your your height and your goals as 
far as possible. Reach the skies. Don't, you know, don't limit yourself. Please don't. Please don't. And embrace the ambiguity. Like when we think about reaching the sky, the sky is so open. The sky is this open, open atmosphere. It is not closed. And when we think about the sky, we think about all these clouds just floating around, all these dreams that we have. And it's an open, open, endless field of like where you want to go. So when you're reaching those skies, sky's limit, it's not. The sky is limitless and we're all floating around that sky. And I know it sounds cheesy. I know y'all think it's just cheesy, but it's true. It's true. Like life is ambiguous. Like there is literally like, you don't know where your future is going to go and you don't know where life is going to take you. So just embrace that. Embrace that um, unknowing and enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process. Live life, you know. Hey, live life. And this can be like applied to so many, so many things, you know. I feel like a lot of ways, a lot of the ideas that kind of go into why um, people in marginalized communities continue to still be police, continue to still be, you know, not treated fairly is because a lot of people are conservative in their thinking. A lot of people don't embrace the ambiguity, which is basically accepting that there are differences out there, right? And it's okay to accept that there are differences out there. It's, so, it's important to recognize that there are differences out there and to acknowledge that. And that's what embracing ambiguity is all about. It's all about that way of thinking, that way of thinking of life. Not just how you live your life, but how you perceive life as well. I believe that ambiguity and in the sense, you know, vagueness and open-endedness is so important in the LGBT community as well is, you know, the idea of queerness, right? I believe that sexuality, again, is a spectrum. Sexuality, gender, the way that you identify yourself, it's all a spectrum. It's all, you know, kind of an exploration. And when you start to embrace the idea of ambiguity, you start to kind of allow yourself to open your... Um, mind to these types of perspectives to understand that you know there are other ways of identifying in this world than just you know identifying as a straight cisgender um, able-bodied person you know there are other you know people out there are queer people out there identify as many many different things and that's okay it is okay to change it is okay to explore and it is okay to identify as ambiguous because again you know, life is ambiguous. Ambiguity is beautiful and ambiguity is like, honestly, like literally, like when you think about like LGBTQ, that's literally like our community. Our community is full of different, different, beautiful people. And that's, you know, that's why I really want to emphasize embracing ambiguity, not just in the perspective of how you're going to set your careers or, or limiting yourself, but also, you know, not limiting your mind to the different identities that exist out there. I hope y'all kind of enjoy the term embracing ambiguity. Please spread that way of thinking, that positive way of thinking. We just all should be able to think critically about things. We should all be able to understand that life is open and life is beautiful and how you live your life isn't, you know, set in stone. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something from this. I learned something from this. If you enjoyed this video, please again leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it, babes. And please comment below what you think. You know, what do you think about this video? Do you all have any other like inspirational or motivational terms that you use to get you by or help kind of like, you know, give you that mojo, that juice to kind of keep going and, you know, challenge yourself. Like, what are the terms, you know, spill the tea, I wanna know. Um, I wanna know that you all are trying out there, living your best life, um, as you should. Um, but again, thank y'all for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.